Well, hey there, everyone. Welcome to Cowboy Survival. You know, we talk a lot about shamogs on this channel and other channels. They are great, great things to add to your kit. You can use them for so many things. You can use it to cover your head in the heat and to keep your head warm in the cold. You can use this to wrap around your neck when it's wet in the summer to keep your neck, neck cool. You can use it as a sling. You can use it as a filter for water. You can use it to carry things in it, maybe firewood or other items. There's so many different uses for one of these things. The question is, what do you do when it gets dirty? Everything that's made out of cloth is gonna get dirty. I saw a comment on the internet where one man was complaining about his shamog that it was low quality because he washed it and it ended up half the size of the original shamog. Well, that's because he didn't follow the instructions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some fun here. I'm gonna take this shamog, we're gonna take it and we're gonna wash it the proper way. And you're gonna see what happens. When you wash it properly, it's not gonna shrink, it's gonna be just fine. But then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the same shamog and we're gonna wash it the wrong way. And I'm gonna show you what happens when you don't follow the instructions. It's kind of eye-opening and it'll confirm to you that when they tell you something in the instructions, you should follow it. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. So before we actually take this thing and wash it, I wanna record the measurements so that we can measure it after as well. Because the concern is that this thing is gonna shrink, right? So I'm gonna take this tape measure and we're gonna measure this thing from this corner all the way down to the other corner. And it measures out at actually about 44 inches. So it's, it's probably a little longer than they advertise it. It measures out at 44 inches this way. Now when I take this, this same tape measure and I measure it the other way, it's gonna measure, well, not quite as wide as it was long. It's not quite a perfect square. So it is, when I measure it this way, it's gonna be right at about 40, you know, if I stretch it out right, it's gonna be right at about 43 inches, I guess, maybe 44. This way, it's not quite as big. It's about 41 and a half inches. So, and I don't have it perfectly pulled out square, so we'll do that. So it measures out at right at about 41 and three quarters inches. So we're gonna see how much this thing shrinks when we put it in the wash. Now this shamog is made out of 100% cotton material. The instructions for 100% cotton material is that it should be hand washed in cold water with a light detergent. Now the reason for that is that if you don't hand wash it in cold water, then it's gonna shrink. So we're gonna do what the instructions say. Now this shamog does not come with washing instructions. You have to read what it says on the website when you buy it. And you also have to research a little bit about the fabric. So we're gonna take this, I'm just gonna put it in the cold water um, and it will soak up that cold water. We'll get it good and wet. Um, it's never been wet before, so it's not absorbing water real well at the moment. It'll absorb water much better after it's washed. So the next we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of detergent. I'm gonna use some little arm and hammer free and clear. Um, and I'm gonna put a little bit of that in the water, not a lot, just enough to, uh, to wash this with. So I'm gonna put some of that in the water. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash this thing by hand. <laughs> You see all the color coming out of that? That's the dye that's in the, that's in the fabric. Um, that water's getting kind of dark, isn't it? That's the dye that's in the fabric that's coming out a little bit. Again, that's, that's the reason where you want to wash it in cold water. So I think that's good enough for the demonstration. Now what I'll do is I'll drain this, and what we'll do is rinse it really, really well. take this and I'm going to wring it pretty well. Now that I think I've got most of the soap out of it, I'm going to wring this well. And then we're going to hang it up on a drying rack and let it dry overnight. Uh, it's not going to dry quickly. It's going to take overnight for this thing to dry. Especially since it's been raining outdoors, I'm going to put this up in the garage. 
And then once it's dry, we're going to measure this again. I'll probably iron it just to get the, the wrinkles out of it. And then we're going to measure it again and see what the measurement is after washing it properly. Okay, so we're, we're testing uh, what happens when we wash our shemog. So I washed it by hand in cold water and I dried it on a drying rack. So it came out beautiful. It's still the same width that needs to be. It's 42 to 43 inches this way. It's 42 to 43 inches that way. Uh, my measurements aren't exactly precise. I think that's operator error more than anything. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it in the washer machine uh, and wash it on cold. And then I'm gonna dry it on the lowest temperature of the dryer. Now, one thing to remember if you're gonna put something like this in a washing machine, you do not wanna put anything like this in a washing machine that has an agitator because these tassels on the edge they're gonna catch in that agitator and tear. I've got one of those front load washers that tumbles, so it's not going to catch anything in a, an agitator. Do not put this in a washing machine with an agitator. These little tassels will get caught and will tear your item. So we're gonna try this now on cold water and low temperature dryer and see what that does. Okay, we're at the washer. I've got my shemag, we're going to put it in the washer and we're going to run it on cold, cold and then we're going to dry it on the lowest temperature and we're going to see what that does. Okay, well, test number two seemed to have worked out fine. We washed it in the washer on cold, then we dried it in the dryer on the lowest temperature and it still measures out just fine at 43 by 43. So I think you can wash it either by hand or wash it in a non-agitator washing machine. So not one that goes back and forth like this, but I put in a front load that goes around like this and it works just fine. Dry it on the lowest temperature and it comes out, doesn't damage it. So the last test we're gonna do is we're gonna wash this thing on hot and then we're gonna dry it on the highest temperature in the dryer and we're gonna see what happens. So for the final test, we're going to take the shemad, put it in the washer at hot, and then we'll dry it in the dryer at the highest temperature, and we'll see what happens. I'll set it on hot, and away she goes. Okay, so we washed it in hot water and then we dried it on the hot cycle in the dryer. So what we have is the, the measurement this way after the hot water uh, wash and the dryer is about 37 inches. So we've lost about five inches in length this way. In addition, we've lost distance this way. Uh, this distance also measures about only about 30 six to th about 36 inches. So, so it shrank more this way than it did that way, but it lost about six inches. So we've lost significant size by washing this in hot water and then drying it on the hot cycle. Okay, so let's review. We washed it by hand in cold water and hung it up to dry, no shrinkage. We washed it in the washer on cold water and we put it in the dryer at the low temperature still no shrinkage, we were just fine. But when we washed it in hot water and put it on the hot cycle in the dryer, there was significant shrinkage. So now we saw that it shrank about six inches per side. That's a significant amount of space that we lost. Now, if you stretch it, you still get some, some length there. So I can still take this and use it like I did before. I can pull this up under my chin. I can pull this across my face and tie it. Now I don't have quite as much to tie as I did, but I can still tie it, pull it, and I can still use it just as normal, and it will work. Now, I've had to stretch it to do that, but remember, because it's 100% cotton, when I put it in the hot water and dry it on hot, it's going to shrink, and it will shrink again the next time I do it. So, I think the best advice is to take this schmog, wash it by hand in cold water as instructed, and then hang it up to dry, and I think you'll be just fine. Okay, hopefully we all learned something from this. We'll see you real soon, and remember what we always say. Stay strong, stay prepared, have a blessed day from Cowboy Survival.